What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video here today on my channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Zombies content. I am still on the hype train and I cannot wait to see what we get here in the next couple of months relating to Zombies information. But today we're going to be talking about is something that all of us, including myself, missed in the Shadows of Evil trailer. This one directly playing to some backstory here for this and how it relates into the zombie story overall and more specifically how it actually relates to Mob of the Dead. So firstly, we're going to start at the very beginning where this all began. If you guys do remember, one of the pre-order bonuses was a poster that was double-sided, one with the Black Ops 3 concept art, and then one also with a zombie's side to it where it says only the cursed survive, and this zombie is holding up a card with this claw-like looking icon on it. We, for the longest time, had absolutely no idea what this would mean. We saw it in the actual teaser trailer for Black Ops 3, the Back in Black trailer, and then also hinted at in some other other places through some of the media that we got from Black Ops 3, but whenever we actually got the Shadows of Evil trailer, this is one of those things where those icons in the Back in Black trailer came back, and unbeknownst to us for quite some time now, being that it's been a couple of days since this actually launched, this icon for Only the Cursed Survive actually did come back as well. So how does this relate to our characters in Morgue City and Shadows of Evil? Well, this is going to be the Mark of the Beast. If you guys do remember a lot of the quotes here, we're talking about how our characters were bad people, that they were sent to be punished here, and that this is all some sort of one giant grand scheme. Well, in this trailer, we also saw that three of our four characters have this Mark of the Beast, this icon that we saw on the pre-order poster, all on their left hands. Now, presumably, it is going to be all four of four, but Heather Graham's character does actually have gloves on, so we can't see if this mark is actually, in fact, on her left hand or not. It is presumably going to be there as all three of the other other characters do have this, and they're all in the same situation. They're terrible people, as they say, and they're being punished. As you guys can see right now on screen is where we can actually see this being placed on each of our characters' hands that we can see in plain sight. They're all right there. Every one of our characters does have this, and it is the Mark of the Beast. So now the bigger question, I think, is how does this tie in with Mob of the Dead? Because we did get told specifically this ties in with Mob of the Dead more so than any of the other maps that we've seen so far. Obviously, this is just a working theory, so there isn't any real confirmation just yet on how this actually ties in, but my thinking is that these are both separate levels of hell. If you guys do remember, Mob of the Dead had a lot of things that were very demonic in a lot of ways, and even in the Easter egg, it was actually a part where the numbers flash up on the light bulbs. It was 666 to complete the actual order. Now, along with those also little subtle hints, it is more so overall on the story actually fully agreed upon that that map was in fact a map designed to be hell. As for how the storyline works, that is a never-ending cycle. Our characters die but then end right back up there. That's why our characters make a lot of references towards already knowing some information about what's going to happen and all that kind of stuff. It's just one cycle. They continuously die, spawn back in hell, continuously die and spawn back in hell. So it never ends. So call it hell, purgatory, whatever it may be. I thoroughly believe at this point in time from what we have right now. Shadows of Evil is also another layer of hell or purgatory, whatever you want to call it. But I think that is where we're going to wrap up the video here today. Just a quick recap, our characters all have been marked by this Mark of the Beast that we've seen it now teased to us for quite some time. And how does it actually relate to Mob of the Dead like we've been told? My personal thinking is that it's going to be another layer of hell and connected in that regard. But let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. Love to hear your thoughts. Do you guys think that this connection is in fact how it's going to work out? that both these maps were levels of hell that our characters have been sent to? Or do you think that this is all just some crazy talk that I'm speaking? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comments, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace, if you're a jerk, that always greatly appreciated. If you're here, be sure to subscribe for the best of quality Black Ops 3 content. Any new news information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.